Well, 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 we've got the rain, R-A-I-N-E, from Drop, formerly known as Mass Drop, Kirby Lambert Collaborative Design, and this is Princely Velvet, so this is the purple option, and obviously it's, it's had a couple of months of rolling around through our pass around group, so it ain't perfect, as I can see on the pocket clip. Uh, and that also means I can't get to disassemble this knife because it's pass around one. But this is uh, an interesting knife. You know, of course, this is made by Riot. Um, so is his, oh, his Crossroads and Augustus knife that, yeah. Crossroads, that's Riot course and Augustus is and these are both about the same size knife as the rain but they're more expensive isn't there 355 355 well, hey at least they're consistent right but then this is one that it was for like 250 dollars and then it's going to be more like 300 uh what if you didn't get in on the drop then when they have extras afterwards 8.2 inches long blah 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 and yeah 249 299 at the regular price and then fat carbon fat carbon a heat treated carbon fiber composite eastern european so that's what this is it says oh turn it around you'll see it kind of shimmer and stuff in the light and it does uh it's interesting isn't it and this kind of reminded me in this i thought this was more like that g10 carbon fiber layered stuff that they've been doing recently on best tech knives and some others where then they machine it and it and it reveals both the g10 which could be any color and then the carbon fiber which is black so this kind of looks like that but apparently it's not that uh that I'm aware of. So here you go. Interesting uh, material. Of course, you can get these in different colors and I didn't really print out that. I'll give you the link to that whole drop thing because even if you didn't get in on this and the drop went down, everything, uh, they're coming out. I believe the issue date on those is around in February. So you got time. Okay, sometime after the all the drop ones get sent to the people who got in on the drop, and then the extras will open up for in and they'll cost more, but it will be what it will be. Still, even the 299 is cheaper than 350, which you're basically buying a Riot made Kirby Lambert design, just like the Crossroads or the Augustus. So, uh, and it's about the same size, and they're pretty, uh, brutally thick and tough and you know four millimeter blade stock 3.2 or 8.3 8.2 inches well hell let's put a thing on it overall length three and a half inch blade uh there you go three and a half that's all a three and a half uh you know maybe 3.55 somewhere in there about 92 millimeters overall that's eight and a quarter 8.25 Mm, 21 centimeters. Let's throw a, if we can, a caliper over this because it's probably going to, yeah, it's 15 millimeters. So, yeah, it's six tenths of an inch. So, yeah, it, it feels fat in the hand. It does. And four millimeter blade stock, let's see. 0.15. There you go. So, yes, that's what you got. So, is it a fat fatty? Yeah, it's pretty pretty thick here. Uh, it's hefty here. Four millimeter blade stock. Got this uh, hollow grind uh, RWL34 blade. And I don't know if it says it on this one. Yeah, it does right here. Okay. And uh, stone wash RWL uh, drop point hollow grind uh, recurve blade you like this suspended backspacer thing take a look at that sorry i just was ignoring that whole deal there i shouldn't have should have kind of gave you a little bit more rotis rotisserie 
look around here before I it's centered no blade play no lock rock the actions on it on it is really nice fit and finish is really good looks like you got a little area here where you can uh, put your lanyard you know it's a kind of cutaway area of that backspacer to put your lanyard on pocket clip looks pretty straightforward not deep carry and no left hand option there's your blade stop and we're not gonna be able to pull it apart um, uh, flipper tabs not too horribly obtuse here so it could have been maybe just a bit lower and maybe a bit thinner not quite as thick uh, it works really well and the detents not real 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 well not real real strong okay there we go so I couldn't throw it out this way so I'd say it's not a 4.5 uh, and it's pretty easy to snap out that way. I wouldn't give it better than a five on my scale. That's it's pretty easy. Let me see if I can fail it. I think I can fail this pretty easy. Yeah, I can fail it real easy. So yeah, it just pushes out. So it's not holding it uh, until it just lets go and snaps open. So see now just a little casual flick will snap it right open but i'm just saying uh no that's it's pretty light detent so if you really want you know a real bear for detent this is not your knife uh most knives i review are in the 4.5 to 5.5 range and this is you know a5 at best I might even back up and try and go 4.8 to 5.0 uh, on this. You know, and the only other mass drop knife I still own is this Orca, Eric Oaks Orca. And I think this was also done by Riot. And uh, this has that purple Moku tie. So we've gone purple, right? I mean, I, I didn't choose this color, okay? This just came through the pass around group. But you want to do that? Uh, the Orca is just an incredible favorite of mine. Uh, it's liner lock and the Moku tie really pops on it. And I just, and the harpoon style blade is crazy good. No recurves, no problems. Great action. Uh, a little stronger detent, not a whole, whole bunch. So these are caged ceramic bearings on here. And, you know, the one thing about these, oh, yeah, I mean, the fact that it's fat, I mean, it's thick this way. So you've got a lot of titanium on here. you got a four millimeter thick blade stock. So you got weight there, too. Okay. So not quite six ounces. So I'd say it's tolerable, you know. I uh, just rolled past uh, grams thank you very much 165.6 so it's not terribly lightweight but in this ought to be a lot lighter there's 125 and eh, 4.2 so yeah uh, but this is all carbon fiber not horrible let me see how they compare size wise Well, they're pretty close. Really close. Really, really pretty close. But, you know, no recurve. No, uh, you know, and I got harpoon here. This is all kind of cool. Um, you know, it just depends on your, uh, your design preferences. Kirby Lambert, of course, makes hellacious, wonderful knives. So, um, to me, I didn't get in on this drop. I may get one on the back end if I feel rich, but I, I got a Crossroads one, but I've sold it off since. I, I don't know if I was just feeling it. The, I've got a Riot Jack I love. 
I love. It's integral, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've got a Riot Torrent in M390, the old school one. Love it. And this is made by Riot. Uh, you know, so I don't know. Um, and I really want uh, a Tashi Baruka, you know, the T4000 in my hands. Kind of check that out. But this one, I don't know. Would I rather get the Augustus or maybe go back to the Crossroads than this one? This blade shape's not bad, though. It's, in, it's intriguing. And, you know, I, I always like knives where I can get good purchase on them, and there's good purchase, good ergos on here. Okay? You know? Bam, bam. This, I mean, these little areas right here uh, really give me an, a, a good... And it fits my fingers. It fits my fingers. Uh, of course, this front choil for sharpening ability and a thumb ramp with jimping. So I think he ticked a lot of the boxes with this knife with the jimping on the flipper tab in a real place where you're really actually going to come in contact with the jimping. Uh, also, uh, jimping on this thumb ramp area where you're really actually going to come in contact with it. And the ergos being really good. Reverse grip, yeah, that's fine. Uh, pocket clip doesn't take over the design and doesn't get too busy either. Um, pretty stylish, and I like the fact that he did a bolster here with the inlay and, of course, the inlay on both sides. So it's kind of a bolster lock here. Hardened steel insert, obviously anodized titanium hardware on here. Take a look, backspacer, like suspended looking backspacer. That's cool. I mean, there's a lot of cool factor to this knife. I think this is very practical in a lot of ways and it has, it's, it's well thought out, well done, well made. And it's, now it's just a matter of, is this a design you like? And if you do, then God bless you. And if you don't, or it's just kind of mm, so-so, then, you know, you have to make decisions. I do. Otherwise, I'd probably have one of these. I'd, and probably between the three, I don't know. I'm, I might default for this. The recurve does add a lot of style points that you don't get with the Augustus. In, there. in the Augustus, I'm not sure I'm all digging that, that multi-grind thing. You know this? I'm not sure that that's really kicking it for me. I think... I think I like this. It's it's more simple in a way, uh, but a lot a, a lot of style points. It's got a recurve in it too, but this I, I don't know. I I think I like this better. I tend to like the little little bit simpler approach. You know, uh, less is more. So yeah, I you know I think if you really want a Kirby Lambert knife. This might be the one to jump on, so even if you didn't get in the drop for 250 at 299, still less than 355 for the other ones that have Riot on them, and you've got one that has Lambert on it, and or at least on the front side, you know, and it's it's less expensive. Basically, getting the same knife, I think. I mean, I had the. Crossroads in my hand. I have this in my hand, and I'll tell you what, I, I, they both feel the same. This doesn't feel like a downgraded version of a Riot Crossroads or whatever. So, no, uh, I wouldn't be afraid of that. Well, I'll leave you to it. I, you know, I can't decide, but I do like the way they did, you know, the, the carbon fiber, this fat carbon fiber thing. I, I dig that. I like the bolster, the style points on the blade, but overall, it, it just doesn't hit my lust button. So it is what it is. Uh, thank you very much. Take care. But I hope you had a good look around the knife one more time. And uh, you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.